Okay, this is a game for Zyra. This is a gold one promotion game to plat five. So we've got Varus Zyra into Jin Fiddlesticks. Now, your lane is actually really strong. So the Varus and Zyra have a lot of potential there, especially once Varus hits six. If he lands his ulti and catches the one of them off guard, you will be able to land everything. You're going electrocute Zyra C as well, so you'll be able to do um, a ton of damage there. And the person should honestly die because they won't be able to move out of that. On the flip side though, you might have a tiny bit of struggle in the laning phase, but I don't see why it should be too bad. Fiddlesticks can CC quite a bit, and it is an aftershock fiddle. Um, and say for example Fiddle Fizz it should be a quite an easy Jin W. But Fiddle in general doesn't do a whole lot of burst damage during the lane and it's mainly going to be coming from Jin. And Varus actually does a surprising lot of damage as well so you should be able to compete. You should be able to compete as well for level 2 first as well against the Jin as well with what you have. Honestly I think you've got the stronger laning phase. The only way I can see you guys losing this lane is if you get caught out extremely badly or if Fiddle manages to get some sort of amazing ulti off and you guys don't react to it quick enough. There should be a clean laning phase. Um, also, I also actually like the fact that you've got a Zyra pick there as well when your team is basically full AD. So that's a really good uh, what happened. I don't know if that was intended or not in your champion selection, but that was a really good pick there as well. Um, Alright, let's see how it goes. You're on the top side. To Taking a little bit too long to buy, ideally. And off we go. Setting up the seeds for this is pretty cool. You're already there. Um, you might want to consider being with your team here, though, in case someone does face check for whatever reason, but. You know. Usually not a lot happens anyway, level 1. Okay, good. Normal any phase so far. Decent Q harass. Um, one thing I will suggest, you've used your ward somewhere. Where did you ward... I'm actually going to have to go back and see where you warded, actually. Sorry. I've completely missed where you've put that ward. Unless that was a UI bug. Oh, you put it there. You put it in the lane. I do not recommend that. Okay. So, because you've got, um, yes, Lee is coming down here, but there's still a good chance that Rengar could easily come through here and into this bush, make a play down here, and then go for Scuttle, and then it'd be easy for them to get to Scuttle. This kind of bush here needs to be a super high priority. Um, you need to make sure you get the ward in there. You shouldn't be too bothered about Fiddle and trying to see if he's in this bush either. Also, there's a chance you might get pushed up. So, if you do get pushed up, you won't want to put it here, you would want to put it in this brush here. Um, because they'll have full lane control anyway. So it, it kind of depends on the situation. If you're getting ultra pushed in, then you need to put the ward here in this bush. If you think you're going to be bouncing like in the middle of the lane quite a bit, you need to put a ward here. Just in case of that Rengar coming down and doing a cheesy player. I mean, it's happened to me a lot. You're pretty consistent with landing your Q, so that's nice to see. Right, um, you really need to get ready here for a level 2. These two melee minions are getting extremely low HP, and I want to see you like moving from here to, to around about here. 
you want to start moving into into them at this point. You're kind of moving away. You're about to hit level two before them. You've got level two advantage here, and you don't even you haven't noticed it at all. Like you should be way up. You should be way up, like around here, where my mouse is. You should be getting into this fiddlesticks phase. That's a shame. And then you should be leveling E rather than the seed as well. Because if you're up up close in this situation here, you would be at you would at the very least get flash from Fiddle. Um may even maybe even the even the kill to be honest. Because Fiddle is pretty damn squishy. And he's got aftershock, but silence doesn't proc the aftershock. So the only thing that does that is the fear. So yeah. Very good chance they're wasted. Just gotta pay attention to that level two, and if you're gonna hit it first, then you need to be way more aggressive. Usually, no matter what you you, you are, um, no matter what the champion, if you're gonna hit level two first, and they're staying in the lane like that, then you need to abuse that as much as possible. So this is the most important thing of the laning phase. That level two spike. Just imagine this lane is going to be about harassment, but you are going to want to look out for root catching, but you're not level 3 yet. Consistent with landing Qs, it's good to see. Alright, let's see how your roots are. I don't want to see you whiffing too many Roots, especially with Electrocute. That's really nice. That was a really nice catch by you there. Right, you want to help push in this lane. And um, you want to make sure that Fiddle doesn't uh, freeze the wave. You can probably push in the wave one more time. Yeah, you want to kill this kind of minion. You want to... Getting a ward there is fine. It's perfectly fine to do that, but you need to come straight down here and push in this lane and recall. Okay, good. You are kind of doing that. A little bit more effort there, though, with auto attacks and stuff would be good here. You just want to recall. Recall now. Not the best place to recall. Fire's fiddle sticks, so I would actually try and interrupt you there. Jin has already. Yeah. Just always go back to this brush at the very least. You're going to waste a lot of time now. You managed to get Frostfang into your control wards. That's fine. That's nice. Just looking for mistakes now. You're ahead now in the landing phase. Your whole team's ahead in the laning phase, actually. You're just looking for mistakes. That control ward is decent. I will say, however, what would you what you could do one step better is um, pushing in this lane and putting your control ward in this brush. Unless you know specifically that Lee Sin's going to be coming down. I do like the use that you, you are intending on being more aggressive here. I like the intention that you're going to be more aggressive here. With that control ward, it does give you some power. But I think if this lane is going to be pushed in. I think it's too early to tell. To just dump one down straight away. But if you can get the wave down to here. And get a control ward here. It means two things. It means your Lee Sin can go all the way through the lane. Without being spotted. It also means that even if Rengar comes down. It's going to be incredibly hard for them to even lock you down. Because they won't even have to see, be able to see where you are to CC you. Um... Yeah, that's what I would do. Because this lane's going to be naturally pushed in anyway from your plants. Um, so the two right places here for control would be this brush here forward in a minute, in like 30 seconds. And right, it would have to be right at the back so to make sure they wouldn't kill it properly. Um, or in this bush up here to give you like a little bit more security against a roam from mid or from the jungler. Um, yeah.
I'm gonna put um fog of war on. If you can try not to clip the caster minions too much. You want to try and zone them out. Like get seeds at the back line if you can and just queue and try not to interfere too much with the caster minions if possible. You don't necessarily want to be pushing in the lane unless um, you've got a massive wave stacked up and then you want to shove it into the tower as quickly as possible. In this sort of situation here you want to make them slip up and make a mistake to expose them. Um, into um, making a mistake and having a, like a controller dumped at this point would be amazing because they wouldn't know where you were you are and Jin or Fiddle might try and CS but then you can then easily like root them kind of thing where they are standing right now for example um, so yeah having that control ward up to here would be amazing it would give you a lot more play potential and hey guys I can't say hi um, as I'm doing a coaching session but I do appreciate you Another good root catch. Okay, now the gin is so low. You want to keep sieging like crazy. Okay, now you know that the Rengar's mid. Um, just bear that in mind. You want to keep sieging and keeping an eye on this Rengar's health. I'd be keep flickering like this. Walk back as you're walking back. You want to keep an eye on the Rengar HP. And now Rengar's missing with a comfortable amount of HP. You want to like step back a little bit now. Um. It is risky. You've lost your mid laner. Just take it, take it slow here. Don't go too far deep because the rain gun will probably come down. Just those backline harassments with that seed, for example, if a Q was there, and if they were close enough, that would be quite nice. I think you need to tell your Varus to back off. I don't think you can actually siege right now with the uh, the Rengar situation. You still don't know quite know where he is. Although that was a really good combo. Oh, oh he tried to heal you. <laughs> I want to watch that again. I just want to put the fog of war, and I want to see where Rengar actually is. He is on bot side of the map. If this was higher. I think Rengar would help out his. his help out this team situation here. That's the, once again a really nice route here from you. Really nice follow up. I think you kind of stand still there though like a, a little bit of a pleb though there for no reason though. There's really nice play there though. Like you aren't it's like you lag out there. It looks like you maybe lag out there, but you don't even do an auto attack there, so you kind of stand there for no reason and tank two tower hits. Just unfortunate, really. And Varus does try and save you, but he's uh, he has barrier. <laughs> Your mouse is being rubbish at the moment. Registering of any other click, I can recommend you maybe buy a rock uh, amo cone using the uh, link down below. Get 10% off all rocket gear if your mouse has been playing up. Highly recommend the mouse. You get 10% off. And Jin's uses flash. That's noteworthy for later on. Back to the game. Okay, you need to be careful of Fiddlesticks engaging. Fiddlesticks will be looking for a play and you haven't got appropriate vision sets up yet. So you don't know where where anyone is really on the team. That ward is, is was risky but vital. What you should have done though is coming into the lane. You should have come through here. Maybe Q in the ideal world QW this brush for vision. And if there's nothing there. Um then plop over a normal ward from that brush, that, that ledge over to there. There is a position here that I can't tell you like how, how to do it. You have to watch a video, but you can stand here and do a ward from like this position over and it goes straight over there. It will require practice. I recommend you go into a practice mode to practice that out. 
But it is quite a hard one, but once you get it down, it should be quite easy. But you can technically do a ward from like over here, straight over to there, to that brush. But on the whole, your mechanics have been pretty nice with Zyra. I'm pleasantly... I'm not surprised and I'm happy that you're quite good in Zyra, actually. Yeah, just respect that Jin Q a little bit, because that will be the only thing that will screw you over in lane. Nothing to note right now. Just standard things. I appreciate that you're trying to get control of the main situation. It's fine what you're doing. They did take, um, just take Drake. So you know Rengar's on the bot side, bot to mid side of the map right now. So you're on the back foot slightly. If uh, Varus does use something that his ulti and lands, you need to follow up immediately. I am reading chat, guys, by the way. I just can't reply right now. <sighs> yeah, I was about to say, like, Fiddlestick's only avenue to engage on you where you don't have vision is literally here. This is literally the only place where Fiddlesticks can go over and engage. You basically face checked it. Especially after you saw Fiddlesticks go up there as well. Not sure what the plan was there. Yeah. I think if Varas manages to walk one for one from that, that's pretty amazing actually. Yeah, that's the, probably the first mistake you've made. Proper mistake you've made on any phase, I think. You've got Sorcerer's Shoes and it looks like you're maybe going for Oblivion Orb, that's pretty nice too. Um. You know the Rengar's going to be here. Right, okay, so you can't technically stay under tower here right now. Uh, the Jin has ulti, so what you you should try and do is if this Rengar is genuinely recalling, you should be interrupting him anyway, but you need to be harassing this Rengar anyway. Because if he does choose to tower dive you, you need to whittle this HP down. Yeah, like that. Nice route. You still got your ulti here. Once again, a really nice route. Yep, I see you doing exactly the right thing here. Nice. Your mechanics are pretty solid. Kind of interested of where it all goes wrong. Because right now, this looks like a game you should be definitely winning. Nice rotation by your team here as well. This is too cocky now. After you get this first tower, like, there's no real worth getting anything else down here. You've got the tier 1 down, Dragon's dead, your next priority, and your tier, tier, top, tier 1 top's dead too, so... Your next focus should be mid, and it should be trying to get back to mid now as quickly as possible. You are kind of lucky not to get caught there. This is a cheeky trap. This is possible. You could get away with this, actually. It is risky if they do know about it, though. <coughs> hey, bud. <coughs> you being a Paw Patrol? Yes. Oh, that's yes. very good. Do you want to show everyone quickly? Yes. Okay, quickly then. Oh, Daddy's doing important coaching. You're going to put it on. That green might mess up on the um, screen, actually. Hold on. Can you guys see? <laughs> Which Paw Patrol is that? Chase. Chase? Yes. Is that your favourite one? Yes. Oh. You want to say hello? Baba. Baba. Is that what you say hello? Yes! 
<laughs> Are you excited You're... about Grandma and Grandpa coming over later? Ba 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 ba! Kids. Hello! This is a brand new app launcher! Bye Avengers! 3, 2, 1, let's explain! Hug? 3, 2, 1, let's explain! Can you explain what's happening here? We're when he comes, playing. he always just sits and watches himself in the game. Mario Bros! Yeah! You're making everyone deaf. <laughs> Three, two, one. Can you whisper? Can you whisper? Three, two, one. Can you whisper? Use your quiet voice. That's better. And can you give Sui any advice on how to play better at League of We're Legends? Okay. Whisper. <laughs> right. Are you going to be quiet? Otherwise, you're going to have to go. Do you promise? You're going to be quiet? No more shouting, okay? All right, you say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. No. Say bye bye. <laughs> no. no. Right. Launcher. <sighs> Are you gonna close the door now? Have fun. Kids. Sorry about your ears, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't too bad. Sorry for interrupting the coaching session as well. Uh, what a little troll. Alright, let's see how this turns out. Varus has ulti, so this should be a quick kill on the chin. Really nice move, actually. I wouldn't have thought to use that. To do that myself, to be honest. The fact that you two decided to do that in the moment is pretty good. Although maybe slightly risky if they decided to siege down the tier three straight away. But if the if the Rengal is there, but you could have disengaged that probably anyway. If they were there. Um. You really do need to back soon, though. This is too deep. You need to be telling your team to go back now because there's just no point staying here. And this is a terrible recall position. Just be focus on getting back to base. Getting your um, Oblivion Orb and working towards um, Leandria's. That's what I want to see from you. Yeah, Oblivion Orb. Okay, good. Okay, you got Ocean Drake spawning. Good. You got the control down as well. That's just really nice so far. On the whole, you've been playing pretty. It's just like a couple of mistakes, really, right now. The first control ward could have been, could have been nicer as well. So yeah. Why does it all go wrong? Hold on, I'm fast forwarding through this too much. Good deep ward here too to see rotations as well. Your warding's been decent, apart from that one control ward. I think it's all been pretty perfect to be honest. Alright, okay, alright. Let's pause it. There's a lot happening here now in one go. Um, massive team fight here. If you win this, you're going to get a tier 2 tower. Um, you're going to have to get ready to get to use your ulti here. You don't want to like save anything here. Nice, on point. You kind of have to hang around still. Try and block the shot onto Lee Sin though, if you can. So Kali gets the kill there. It's a shame that Shedja kills your plant there. That Kali's doing a crap ton of work here. Yeah, that's. What is that? Three for three? It's not ideal. It's not terrible. Um, three for three. It's a shame that it wasn't so clean. You next need to be focusing about Drake. So if you can buy like an sell the cookie and buy like an amplifying time or something, or if you can sell if you got enough for a ruby crystal as well, um, and then just get ready for the Andrews basically. Yeah, this is the right move. Recall, spawn with your team. Emphasize on the um, on the dragon. Now you want to emphasize on the Herald, which looks like you're doing as well. Just that you are, do mind though, that you are a little bit split up here. 
Uh, looks like it should be an easy take. Okay. Good. Got the ejectors. You're doing everything right so far. Refresh the mid lane ward. Forgetting about the fiddle. I was literally about to say as well. Yeah, forgetting about the fiddle. Like, okay, so when you're against someone who can do hard engages over walls, like a Sijuani or a Fiddlesticks, you definitely need a ward here. Um, and make sure you're using oracles on the way as well, because if you're using oracles on the way and you come across a ward like here, you need to immediately back off because there might be an ult coming into your face, basically. Um, so, um, one thing I would say here is look at the minimap. Yasuo ha and, and the Volibear haven't quite yet got um, pressure on their lanes yet. So it's too early to be going in here to here so deep by yourselves as well. You want to not go any further than this line here. And if once, like the say for example the Yasuo and the Volibear make it closer towards these two towers, then you can start pushing in. Um, but right now you're going to have like two split up pressure. Like if you're going to do, if, it, if in any game it ends up being like this, like one... Let's just say it's 1-3-1 one, one right now. You have to make sure there's at least pressure on a tower on at least one of those lanes, on, on the other lanes, ideally both. And I think that's what can easily get set up here too. Um, I think you two are just too far overextended here by yourselves. You get punished for it. So now what, what would happen, right? So if this did happen... Um... If this were to happen when Yasuo and Volibear were already right here, don't forget the Yasuo also has a Herald as well. They would get an objective from it, so it wouldn't be a total like loss. Just keep running. Oof. You could have made it out safer if you just kept running left. You would have made it all the way out. Plus side though, at least Yasu managed to use some of that mid lane pressure. And did get a tier 2. Um, he's going to need to recall shortly though, otherwise his whole team is going to collapse on. And the fact that Harold managed to hit that as well is huge. You can guys work off that now. Alright, let's see Zara coming back in now then. Once again, it's you, you guys are doing the exact same thing. You guys haven't learned already. This is already too far. Um, You've got two people back in base. It's too much. Once again, you got to think about... You, In your mind, you should be really just be focusing on like, okay. We've already got one tier 2 dial down. Clearing out the rest of the tier 2s. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, let's just make sure we pick up the Baron. Um, I would pit, make sure you get like wards over here as well. If you are going to be mid. Okay, great. At least you've, you've learned it from the lesson. You, you, you've remembered that fiddles around. Okay, great. I would still be very cautious though about pushing this in. Yeah, you're a little bit too, too eager there. Problem is, if you get harassed down too much, then it's a free baron to them. Don't follow this up properly. Lee's not here. Wally's on the wrong side right now. You haven't got your ulti yet either. Right, back out now. Out, out, out. You lost one. Baron's gonna spawn, you just gotta leave it. Don't. I wanna see you do more pings. I want you to see you have more of a voice in these games by pinging. This is too much. Like, right now, you should be pinging the volley bed to get out. Oh, this is stupid. That was unnecessary to risky. I mean, like, okay, right, stop right here. Have you got wards? You got two. Uh, your oracle looks like it's up. All right, where are you? You right now need to pop oracles and get Baron control. The main priority should be Baron Vision. Yeah, she's gonna go in for this. Be very, very cautious into this. 
I want to see some like plant cues uh, and and harass slight harassment here. Also, plants will tank some of it as well. Good ult. That's literally the only thing you could do there, though. Alright, when you next respawn from base, whatever, that happened again. Seems like you're letting your other teammates dictate the flow of the game a little bit too much. But you still need to be making sure you've got this Baron sorted out now. That's just your primary concern right now, is this Baron. Not following down this mid, it's, it's literally walking from your base, stand to here. Pop oracles around about here. Get this cleared out, use this Scryer's Orb. Just, just... Get this sorted. Get this vision of this area of the map sorted because it's the most important thing in the entire game. Honestly, you guys could rotate from here straight to there. Like, you probably looks like you're already doing it already. I wouldn't say you could start it, but you can definitely start getting vision in. Good. Probably should try and put one ward there. Try and face check if it with a QW and get vision. You gotta do your best to follow that up. He's gonna get massively caught out here, even if it's just with one plant. Okay, right, so you're seeing on the map here, they are um, going all in for the volley bear. I wanna see you spam pinging the crap out of this Baron. That is Baron, free Baron right there. That pains me to see. They did actually use a TP to bot. Um, that 100% that should be a Baron call right there. Yeah, you guys just lost out on the free Baron, by the way. If you ever see two, if you all around, if you if you have a good team comp to do Baron, and you're already like basically at Baron, and there's two people bot doing two v one, especially if the TP's on cooldown on the enemy team, that's you start Baron straight away. Is that a smoke alarm? No, I don't think so. There only three of us, wasn't sure if we could do it. Plants take a lot from Baron as well. You can also use your ulti to help tank the Baron as well if you really needed to. Yeah, all you can do right now is Dragon. Mountain Drake's nice to have, so you definitely pick this up. You really should do a WQ here though, in this bush here, or over this ledge here, just to see if the Fiddlesticks is going to go in. Let's just see the map. I mean, Fiddlesticks looks like he's going to try and come in. He's got no other teammates here though, so I don't think anything's going to happen, but I mean, that's obviously what the Fiddlesticks is looking to do, right? What's the next dragon? An ocean drake. So you got one mountain drake to do the baron. Game's so down quite a lot. Um, you really, like at this point, need to... If they're staying under their towers all this time, you need to start doing the baron and then peeling off it if they come and they're trying to engage them on that way. Because with the varus and stuff, you've got a lot here just to just instantly kill one person. Back off. Just let him die. Yeah, try not to follow up bad place. You guys did take tier 2 mid, but the enemy might rush Baron here. Yeah, the only person who died there is Fiddle. Right, okay, right. If they have if they haven't if <laughs> they haven't recalled properly, like he see the in here, you'd need to start this right now. You actually need to start this like immediately. Baron needs to be started straight away. Okay, I can see pings now going with the Baron. It needs to be started 10 seconds ago. 15 seconds ago. 
Lee Sin's going the wrong way, so actually you can't do it now. That's a shame. If Lee Sin was coming down this way, you'd be able to do Baron. But for some reason, he isn't coming down the right way there. Also, I've just noticed you went the uh, Crystal Scepter instead of Leandri's. I would have liked to see you have Leandri's to have a faster Baron as well. Okay, uh, so just um, bear that in mind. I think a Leandri's would be a lot better here. But if he also started it, would he come over? I would have probably would have started it, and then if he if he decided not to, if he kept going blue side, then I'll just walk away. Don't follow that up. It's the Vladimir. You can just pull. You walk too far forward there. Yeah, you got baited in there. That wasn't technically your fault in a way. It's just that you shouldn't. Uh, you should have known better to to continue going in onto a Vladimir. Let's just play this fight out in slow mo. So like right there, you can see the Fiddlesticks is already channeling his ult bright and clear open day. You get out. You just walk back out like straight away. And you're walking into it. This is a really bad desync kick as well there actually as well. Has brought them back into the game now. Right, so they get Baron. You can still wave clear now. Right now, your now your job is like damage mitigation and trying to lay the Baron as long as possible. And that's all you all you can work with right now. I want to see you to try and keep control what's in your bag though. You dropped the ball on that recall, you could have bought a control ward, which is kind of needed now because you need to make sure you've got somewhere where you can kind of be safe to like catch them off, like put a control ward kind of where this ward is right now so it can see any wards that are placed there so that you could like stand here and cut people off and also you want a ward here as well to see if they're going up or down as well. So you need a ward here and a control ward here ideally. Yeah, because you could have been ready for that play there actually. They're actually coming straight down mid. So you could have positioned yourself here to make a play here actually. Could have been nice. Even if it's just you in the ass away. Even if it's just you doing an E and a Q and then running away. You gotta try and do something here, I think. Yeah, that would have been nice, because like the fiddlesticks just walked blindly down into there and it would have been like fiddlesticks on like 30% HP and he would have to find some other way to regen his HP somehow. So he wouldn't be able to ult in. Another thing you could do as well, um, if you're pressed in in this situation here and you haven't had time to put a control here or secure vision of this brush, brush, is to get a control ward here um, and then put a ward over here as well so that you can see if like the fiddle, A, the fiddle is going to come in or B, it allows you so that they can't tower dive as efficiently. If the enemy have a ward here, then it's going to be a problem. As well, because they can see you guys freely and see when you, when and if you rotate as well. Okay, you now have to move to bot side because of this. You can't commit. I want to see what your movement was there like actually. Okay, so you're following your team. Kind of have to. See what you do. Right, so you can see from vision here that the fiddle's ulting in. It's a good route. 
We still got your ulti. Um. There's nothing you can do there, in honesty. I was trying to see if there's an avenue to ulti, but there really wasn't, to be honest. In the end, yeah. This is the issue you can do. You just gotta make sure you've got guaranteed vision in between the top and mid now, because this is the way your two towers are only at. I wouldn't bother putting a control with so deep up here. When you're this far pushed in, this board isn't going to give you any benefit. I would like to see that control would move to here, this brush here, on the tip of this like L bit here, or even here for when you do eventually get pushed in. Don't go too far up because you got this is going to be a problem, super creeps. And you can't leave your base really unless you get kills. You just have to kind of wait. There's no reason to be up here at all. This is way too deep. It's actually not a good ward here either because it's like the vision of this ward has been blocked by like. <laughs> like 66% of this vision can't, you can't even see. Because, uh, yeah, needs, that ward needs to be better placed. Okay, let me, let me start back to the beginning here. So they've got two top side, and they're two mid. This is yeah, you kind of have to do make up have to make bigger play here. Lee is correct in going in here, but you get jumped by Carly. Wait, when did you flash? So I need to pay more attention to what you're doing. So you put a ward over there. Perfect. That's fine. That's good too. Akali comes in from behind. That's a nice play from Akali. You have to just... Um... When, when do you flash though? Oh, you flash after you died? Yeah. It's a shame you didn't flash a little bit sooner there. Um, this kind of goes back to what I was saying like earlier, literally one minute before this. It would have been better to have it controlled here or here. In this case, here would have been would have saved you from knowing that the Akali was there. Um, also, this ward is just terrible. <laughs> That's a shame. So your own warding screwed you over here and getting caught by the Akali. Um, yeah, like there's there's no reason to put a control ward so deep up when when you're so far like pushed in, you're not gonna be able to use that ward at all. The only thing you can do in that situation when getting jumped by Akali is just you've done your roots. Hi, hi. Hey, quick, thank you. Sorry, guys, I'll talk to you guys very soon after this game. Um, and just whack your ulti down and flash away. But that damage is insane, though. As soon as she hits you with that mark, you can't escape from it as well. Alright, let's see what happens to your team. Yeah, your team gets snowballed down. Body Bear didn't really take part in that fight either. I mean, in all honesty, I wouldn't let this game tilt you. On the whole grand scheme of things, you have played pretty decently. Um, I mean, you guys are going to lose this game, so there's no point watching it now. Um, it's true. This one's a really tough one to give proper advice on, because this is a game where you've obviously been playing pretty decently in. You won your lane um, pretty decently as well. Uh, so any criticism now that I'm going to be following up, in the whole grand scheme of things is is kind of minor but should be taken into consideration to maybe take it to the next level so 
I would, especially when you're ahead, I think you should definitely look at getting um, the Andries to get those dragons and barons down quicker. If you were to to attempt doing that, I would. I mean that control ward and where I said should would it be nicer. Also, actually, that reminds me, the very first control ward that you placed that game. Only put it on your backside brush if you are wanting your jungler to come in. If you want to be super aggressive in the lane, I'd highly generally advise you, unless you're freezing the lane, which you can't do as Zyra anyway because of all the plants, then you want to push that control ward to the second brush closer to their tower and siege her ass from there, or just keep the or just keep the normal control ward placed in the not usual brush in 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 the river, in the tri brush or the river. In that case, it was the river brush. Um, I want to see you use more pings. I think typing in chat is generally pointless. I think using pings as to control your team around is a lot more, a lot more useful. Sometimes it is worth just starting the Baron. Um, there is that Baron that you guys could have taken for free and you guys didn't take it. Maybe if you had started it up, people would have followed if if they don't you'll quickly realize and you just have to walk away from it um in that lane split situation where it's one three one only push in your lane if you're confident that there's pressure pr appropriate pressure in those other lanes it's the same with any role really so only push in your lane towards their tier two if there's the appropriate pressure on the map because there's no point if you start hitting their tier two and they send five people mid um and your side lanes are nowhere near into in the position to attack the tier two tower then you're not going to get anything from it they'll just kill you mid and then they'll be able to split up their team into two and defend the side lanes so just bear that in mind only try and apply pressure onto tier two and tier threes um, if you have appropriate pressure elsewhere on the map, unless you're all five grouped up mid, do you know what I mean? So if you ask, but if your team is split up like that, you, the only way you can keep pushing into their base is if there's the appropriate pressure on the map. Also against fiddle sticks, just got to respect it. It's the CC. It's not the damage. It's the CC that will screw you over. The silence and the fear are pretty strong. Even when fiddle sticks is behind, that CC is really really strong so just respect that really um so yeah good luck in your rest of your game sui i'm sure you can do it and if you don't do it this time you'll do it next time for sure your zara mechanics in general are pretty pretty decent to be honest i would say easily diamond mechanics on <laughs> easily di <clears throat> diamond mechanics on your zyra skill shot e-landing consistently even at max range was pretty impressive to see 